Where last we left things, we mentioned we were feeding Pippa outside the kitten's territory, which basically ends at this plastic barrier. The idea is that we wanted to create a positive association when she's near the kittens. And the fastest way to Pippa's heart is through her stomach. Remember, Pippa has been aware of the kittens since they were born. She mostly avoided the basement for the first several weeks they were alive. And then we began feeding her down by them to create the positive association. And sometimes Pippa would look in on them while they were safely behind the wall of their pool. Around five weeks, the kittens were moved upstairs and we've managed to keep them contained for the last several weeks. With every meal we give to Pippa, she remembers it being a positive experience with the kittens, being just a stone's throw away. And in this clip, you can see her more relaxed as she's sharing a plate with Tilly. That hasn't happened before. It did work. All of a sudden, Pippa's interest in this area turned into her venturing in. The kittens left her at a distance, so she was able to begin wandering further into the territory. She finally took her perch by the window, which was one of her favorite spots before, and she began watching birds while the kittens played. This was a big step for Pippa, which she repeated each day for several days. This week we're doing something a little different. We're posting once in the morning and once at night and telling the story of Pippa and the kittens as they start to become used to each other. And we are adding the series into a new playlist on the channel called Pippa and the Kittens. So stay tuned as we post more videos. If you haven't already and like our content, please click the like button and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications so you get updates when we post, which is often. We'll see you in the next video.